Hey folks, it's Mike. Uh, out at uh, Centerpoint Park uh, today. Uh, it's mid June and uh, beautiful weather out there. And uh, it's what I want. It's what I like. Hate winter, especially since you know winter kind of went on, on and on and on and on. Um, so I'm just checking out uh, all the uh, wonderful sights. Uh, you know, flowers and prairie dogs and everything else. That's about it. So, yeah. How you doing, buddy? Dude, come back here. Come on, man. Let's hang out. Get some potato chips for you. So, uh, I'm not entirely sure when the English gardens were established, but uh, they've been here for decades, at least since, I'll say, the 60s. Um, basically, just a sort of a North American recreation of a, an English garden, you know, on a manor, you know, whatever. Um, it's always another beautiful place to go. Um, <clears throat> not much more I can say about that, honestly. Um, and then, you know, if I see any bees, I'll run away from them. Uh, if I see any dragonflies, they'll run away from me. Uh, same with squirrels, they'll run away from me. kind of wish they'd stay around so I could actually, you know, say hi to them. We'll say there are a lot of uh, nice songbirds out here, and uh, I'm not even going to attempt to take the photos because I just don't got the patience for it. And by the time I can sort of zoom in on them and, and such, it's too late. They're gone. <sighs> I guess if the uh, world was actually covered with nothing but greenery, this is what it look, would look like. Don't know where the oceans would be. Under it? I don't know. If, uh, if memory serves, this, uh, this stone, I don't know, plaque, I guess you can call it, sat at the old city hall until uh, it was torn down in the uh, mid-60s. And, uh, oh crap. And uh, this column, uh, this uh, Queen Victoria column, um, was erected in 1897, I believe, and uh, sat at the old city hall, uh, like the front lawn there, until it was torn down as well uh, in the, uh, the mid-60s. And, uh, oh shoot, I have to, to worry about that guy. So, uh, oh, I also will note, if, before I can really, you know, before I really go. Um, this is also where the spot where I proposed to my wife many, many years ago. Uh, on that note.
All right, the sundial says that uh, this reads in Central Standard Time, and uh, according to what I'm seeing here, looks like it's about uh, 4.40, um, although I think we're in daylight time right now, so it should be 5.40. It's So I'm at the uh, Leo Mole uh, Sculpture Garden uh, portion of the, uh, the park. Um, it's named after uh, a, uh, an artist named Leo Mole, strangely enough, um, who originally from, came from the Ukraine and uh, was uh, moved to, to Winnipeg about 1948, I believe. And uh, lots of bronze sculptures, lots of beautiful work, um, and uh, lots of Nice space here. So, uh, you know any uh, good guitar solos? You know, anything from, you know, Eddie Van Halen to Steve Howe to, you know, Steve Hackett? I bet you you do. You just, you're just too shy to, to say. So the uh, gardens were established, I think, in the 90s, um, and uh, includes a, uh, a nice sort of pergola area around a pond. Um, it's a great place to uh, to shoot weddings, or well, and uh, have wedding events. Um, I should know because I actually did shoot one here uh, a few years ago, um, and uh, it's a nice place to come back pretty much every time. Okay, so I've been trying to get photos of this guy. Because of the wind, you know, moving things around. Tough to get focus, but I mean, I, I think I finally did. I had to set the uh, focus mode from like one shot to AI servo, which theoretically should keep an eye on, on what I'm trying to shoot, what I'm trying to you know, focus and whatever. But yeah, I think I got a good shot or two. I hope. You'll see it. I'm sure you will. Just a guess, but I think this guy's a Chicago Cubs fan. I could be wrong. Um, I, you know, I don't think he's a Blue Jays fan or a, you know, California Angels fan. Even a Miami Marlins fan, although he probably would like to, to, to have some Marlin. Anyway.
I think she's ready to catch a football. She's got her hands in the right position. Shoot, I should have brought a football. Uh, yeah. So uh, Cinderboy Park is actually the, uh, the oldest park in uh, Winnipeg, uh, established in 1904. Um, I think it's also the largest park in, in the city as well. Uh, this pavilion area that I'm, I'm in, I uh, believe that was built in 1912-1913. Burned down in the 30s I believe, rebuilt, and uh, has had some renovations since of course. Uh, it's, uh, Bit of a drive for me because I live on the other side of the city, but still a very nice and beautiful place to come to. So uh, I've uh, taken one photo of a bench uh, in the gardens. And I uh, started out with editing it one way, using one of my presets, and then I decided, hey, let's try another one, see how that works. That worked out nice, tried it again. Ended up with uh, five separate edits for, uh, for one photo. So uh, here they are, uh, in no particular order and uh, no particular favorite. But, uh, you know, if you want, you can uh, leave a comment, uh, to tell me which uh, which of the edits you prefer. So yeah. Really, squirrel? Anyway, on that note, uh, I'm out. Uh, at that point, I'll say ciao and uh, do the usual. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day, guys.